Hey guys, today we're going to talk about living well and living cheap in the Philippines. And basically, basically we're going to be talking about living on a lower budget, which I don't like, but you can do it, and I'm going to tell you how, okay? And you have to be careful on this because you do need to have some sort of emergency fund or what have you to fall back on. God forbid something happens. And you need, definitely need to have that. You can live on low budgets over here. You definitely are gonna have to have some sort of health insurance. You're definitely gonna have to have that emergency fund in place in order to do it. You can live cheap over here and live well, even on as little as, I'd say, a thousand a month. Some say cheaper. I, I don't really feel comfortable living on less than a thousand. I think a thousand is, is like the point of no return once you go less than a thousand. I don't think you're living well and I don't think you're, you're gonna have much fun because you do wanna get out and you do wanna do things. Thousand dollars is about the limit. You go below a thousand, I think you're, you're not gonna be happy and you also wanna be able to have some money, a little bit of money on the side maybe to stop and get a cup of coffee or to go do things, eat fairly well, live well and you know you want a decent apartment. Now, the apartment I'm in right here is $80 a month, okay? And you're probably gonna pay probably, I don't know, $80 a month electric bill. Your water is probably gonna be about, I'll say 10 just to be safe, and your cooking gas is probably gonna be another 10. So you probably, you know, you're talking about maybe $180 for your rent, utilities, and, and all that. And then you're probably gonna want, want at least basic Wi-Fi, which is about 30 bucks a month, somewhere around there. If you wanna get really good, Wi-Fi, really fast Wi-Fi, then you're probably talking about 70 a month. Now, the rest is all left over for all your other needs, okay? Now, an apartment. What's the apartment gonna look like for 80 bucks? We've showed these apartments many times before, and we've got some really picky people out there, and some of them are choosing the $80 apartments out there, and I'm gonna tell you why, because if you put a little bit of money into these here, like I've showed you guys before, you can really, really make out. And I'm gonna show you this apartment again, just to, this is, this is the bed. It's got the AC up there. He's got his chest ready to go. And he's got a TV in the bedroom. He's gonna be putting more stuff in here. Then you got the kitchen. We got him all ready to go. He's got all this stuff in here. And he's got his bathroom. He's got his hot water heater. He's got his American toilet. He's got his Panasonic refrigerator here. Decent. Now he had to buy this stuff. And this is why I say, rather than go furnished, buy to a long-term lease. That's the way to go. Look at this kitchen set. Just, just for two people. He's gonna put a TV up over here, okay? And then, is this front door. Beautiful, beautiful little apartment, okay? That's looking outside. You know, and you, you live in a neighborhood. It's gonna have, you're gonna have karaoke once in a while. You're gonna have roosters crowing once in a while. You're gonna have a dog barking on occasion. And you know what, after a while, you, get, you, you kinda get, get used to that. Some people do, some people don't, okay? Even in my neighborhood, we have a few dogs, okay? They bark on occasion. I don't even hear them anymore after a while. I have the white, white sound machine in my room and it just sounds like a waterfall and it just puts me to sleep. And I sleep like a baby. Now, there's guys that, that wanna come over here on 800. Now, I'm gonna say this again. I don't recommend coming over here on seven, 800. I just don't, okay? But if you are gonna come over here, and I know some of you guys will, this is the apartment, that you, the type of apartment you'd wanna look for, okay? For you guys on 800, you're probably gonna go with no AC, or maybe you can find a place with AC, with the box type ACs, and you can put it on at least while you're sleeping or you're taking a nap or something, okay? And then have a fan in the living room for when you're watching TV or what have you. That's the way to save money. And guys, you know, remember, the reason why I say the sweet spot budget, the 2000 to 3000 is the perfect one is because we're aging. We are aging. 
And as we age, and I noticed this myself, the other day I was, I was looking at what I'm paying for ointments for my skin, for my legs, okay? It's about 80 bucks a week, plus I'm seeing the doctor, I'm paying probably a little bit less than, like, probably like about $15 US for her to see her whenever I see her, probably like about every three weeks now. But I have to pay to get those, those ointments. And they're expensive, they're not cheap ointments. So I had to pay for that. So if you guys on the $800 budget start getting sick, with your insurance, it's not gonna cover prescriptions unless you buy that portion on the, uh, you know, when you buy the um, policy. So you have to make sure that you buy the policy with prescriptions. It's gonna cost you a little bit more. Now, how much is in your insurance gonna cost? I don't know, because each age is different. And you know, Pacific Cross is the one that you'd probably wanna get. It's one of the cheapest, and I wouldn't, lo I wouldn't go for the cheapest policy just because it's the cheapest policy. I would go for, there's a 500 peso policy, there's a 1,000 peso policy, and there's a 1,500 uh, peso policy. And you can buy the outpatient, you can buy the inpatient, you can, you know, you can, you can get all this stuff. And, you'll, and that, at least that way that you, you'll feel safe. And you can get prescriptions and things like that. You can get all that stuff. But remember, your first year is going to be a total washout because they're waiting to see if you have any uh, pre-existing conditions and things. And that's when costs come in because they might want to bump that up a bit and say, you know what, we're, if you want that covered, we're going to charge you an extra 25000 a year, 10000 a year or something like that. You don't know what they're going to charge you because they don't know what, what you're going to what you're gonna ring up in a bill either. So that's that's the big issue right there. But that's why I say above 1000 is much, much better. Don't go for the 800 guys. Don't even come over here because you know what? Back home, you have a safety net. Most states, you can walk into a hospital, they have to treat you. If you have some serious illness, they have to treat you. Or you have some sort of things, you can go to a food pantry if you're hungry or something like that. Or you can go on welfare, or you can get housing, things like that. We don't have that over here. You know, and, and people say, well, it's kind of like housing, Steve. I can get, you know, over here, housing will give me an apartment just like the one that you're showing over there. And I gotta pay 80 or $200 a month or whatever. It's different though, because over there you have things to fall back on, over here you don't, okay? So you have to be careful. That's why that emergency fund is key. I don't want anybody to come over here and then say, well, Steve, you said you could live on this here. No, I'm telling you, you can, but it's unsafe because if things happen, and as we age, things are gonna happen. You could stroke out, you could have a heart attack, then what? And you know what, and then maybe your insurance might not be enough to cover you. That's the problem, guys. That's the issues. I don't want anybody coming over here and then have something bad happen. You know, if you need to have that savings in place. You need to have the startup fund so you can kick, you know, buy these things for these places. It doesn't cost that much to do this. To buy a refrigerator is about um, 340 bucks. 340 bucks for a refrigerator just like this Panasonic here, you know? And it's, it's good size. It's, it's got a lot of room in it, 340 bucks. The AC, we think we paid just about, I think we paid a little bit more than 600 bucks, 660 or something like that in total for everything. You know, somewhere around there, maybe a few extra bucks with a breaker and stuff like that to, that we had installed. But you know something, it's a good deal, you know? And you do, a, you, what you do is you do like a five year lease. I tell people, if you're gonna, if, if, for the average Joe Blow coming over, if you're gonna be on a low budget, do a five year lease to protect yourself because you're putting in that AC. It's hard to rip out. You know, if you're gonna put that in, and also you lock in your rents. Your rents will stay 80. That's the great part about having that, that lease because it protects you, you know? And like in this section here, I can walk right outside here to the street and you can hear the jeepneys going by maybe. I'm not sure if you can hear them or not. You can hear the jeepneys going by here, but th those jeepneys will pick you up, take you to Dasma, and they'll drop you off right in front of your house, right here. That's the best part, like living over here. It's all about location, guys. When you're seeking out a place, seek out locations. Because if you're buried back in some gated community, and some people, some people are okay with that if you have a vehicle, it's fine. You know, but if you don't have a vehicle, then you're kind of stuck in a bind. What do you do then? You know, because you have to walk all the way out to the gate. You're going to be sweaty, stinky, smelly. You know, you're hopping in a Jeep, you're all sweaty, and you get to the mall and you're all kind of, you feel gross. You don't want to walk around the mall then. But, you know, if you have like a place like this here and it's near a street or it's nearby someplace, a, a central location where you can get um, 
rides and everything. This is the place where you want to go. This is exactly the place where you want to be. You know, so you have to think about that, guys. When you're looking around, you're looking for places. And remember, don't let people overprice you. Let me tell you something. Cavite is the number one place for deals. It's the number one place for deals. Whether you want a three-bedroom home for th that home that I showed, the yellow home that I showed in one of my vlogs, three hundred a month. Three hundred a month. And we're going to be doing more vlogs on that soon because the guy that that leased it, he's he's leased it for five years. He did five years. Okay, and he's adding on to it because it's worth his while because he's gonna get his money wor money's worth out of it. Okay, and he's gonna make the house the way he wants it. And then if he wants to do another five years, he can sign up for another five years. He'll probably end up paying a little bit more then because it'll be five years from now, there'll be a little, you know, the rents will probably be like maybe 400 or 450, who knows, but he's still got a bargain over there. You know, despite the fact that he had to put some work in there and he upgraded the place for the people that when they go to sell it, they can even make more on there. And that's the great part about that, you know? But you can go over there. They also have like um, bungalows, two bedroom bungalows. You can get those for about 250. The guy tried to, you know, tell me he won 300. I wouldn't pay 300 for a bungalow. I'd pay about 250, 250, 240 for a bungalow. That's a fair price. That's a really fair price, you know. And and you have the use of the pool over there, so you can go over and use the pool. That's the great part about that, guys. Is a pool or in the gated communities and things. Now here at this particular house here, okay. We have a gym right down the street. It's within walking distance. It's really, really close, okay? It's called Titan Fitness. They're talking about putting a pool in there eventually. Now, if they put a pool in there, I'll be over there every day. I can guarantee you, I'll be over there a lot, you know, because I love, I love using a pool. And if they put that in, I'll use it. I'm sure Kenny would use it. Nathan, when these guys get over here. Kenny's coming over here. He's the guy that, that has this place here. Kenny's coming over here probably in December sometime, probably before Christmas. Nathan is gonna come in here as soon as they open the, the floodgates for the tourists and stuff. He's gonna be coming over here for the house next door. And we got, we got Brooke Snyder who's coming in here. We have, we have a lot of people coming in here. A lot of people like are ready to, ready to roll, ready to come in here. And we have people over in Dasma that are coming. Um, we also have Mike that lives right down the street from here. He's, come, he's, he's already here and we're gonna to try to, once we get our little group together, we're gonna to try to bring everybody together so we can have hang out on Sundays or whatever. Possibly every Saturday or every Sunday, have a get together, just chill and hang out. Maybe go out to eat once in a while or something or meet up somewhere. We can all have, have some fun and, you know, and just enjoy ourselves as expats. And we got a good little group over here. And you know what, you can form your own little group too. It's kind of fun. But Cavite here, I'll say this, okay? Cavite is a beautiful place if you really know what you're looking for. And when you go through t these towns, you're seeing the middle of town. When you get off the beaten path, that's when you start finding the nice little deals, the nice little places and nice little homes. And yeah, some neighborhoods are different than others. And you have to kind of check them out and say, well, do I want to live here? Maybe not. You know, at first when I looked here, it was get, kind of getting crowded, but it's actually not that noisy here. I've been here at night and it's quiet here. Some people might be playing their music outside or something like that, but they play it low and it's respectful. You know, they, they have a guy here with a rooster. And he's okay. You know, I'm not sure if the rooster's cock-a-doodle-doo -doo at 4.30 in the morning or whatever. I don't know where he puts the roosters, you know, to, at night or whatever. But it's, it's quiet here during the day. I don't hear the roosters because down the street, you hear the roosters doing, making their noise all day long. But here, it's pretty quiet, I must say. Every time I come here, it's quiet. And the good thing about that is you can always take a nap during the day if the rooster wakes you up in the morning or something. Just get up, cook breakfast, eat, go exercise, whatever, go for a walk. You know, and then come home, take another nap for an hour or two. And you know what? You got all your sleep and you got all your rest. But you know something? Living cheap here, guys, there was a place right up the street here for 40 bucks. It was a house, a one bedroom house, one bedroom, okay? 40 bucks. And let me tell you something. Remember how I, I, I told you guys about having an eye? Have an eye. Have an eye when you go out and looking at these places because it might just need a bit of paint. It might just need the door fixed or something like that. You, so you ask the landlord if they'll fix it first. If, if they won't fix it, say, well, okay, you know what, I'll fix it. So how much is it gonna cost? You know, and, and, and then fix it. And, and it, it, it might be worth it if you're gonna stay there long term and it's gonna be perfect for you. Because some of these places are perfect little places. They're, they're nice, they're cute, they're, they're comfortable. It has everything that you need. This house here in particular, okay? 
we, I think Kenny's gonna put like a barbecue outside and he's got a hot plate here for cooking and things like that. Plus he has a whole bunch of things for cooking. That's all you need. Rice cookers, things like that, a fry, a fry later, whatever. You know, that's it, that's it. Doesn't take a lot to live here in the Philippines and you can live cheap. If, especially if you're cooking your own food, guys, here. That's the, the key is, is like, is buying foods that are fairly cheap. Pork, chicken, not too expensive. And if you eat it with rice, you're okay. Now, if you get diabetes or something like that, here's the best part. Get on the street. After you eat, hit the gym. Get up in the morning, eat, hit the gym. You know, go for a walk down Forest Park or something. If you, if you, like, if you live in an area like this here where there's a park nearby, go, go, to, go to a park. Like, we have Forest Park, you know? Or hit the gym near you, wherever it may be. If you live in, in Cebu, Dumaguete, whatever. You know, I'm not telling everybody to, to come live here. I'm just saying. But prices are cheap here. In General Trias, um, Das Marinas, Tracy Materes, Indang, um, some other places around here like Tanza. All those places are fairly cheap. Ternate is cheap. All the rents are super cheap. Now, as you get out there in some of those places, it's not as nice. Tracy Materas is the capital. So it's a cap provincial capital. So it's kind of like nice to live here and it's, it's very reasonable. And you're in the capital. There's, there's tons of stuff that you can go out and do. Like I said, go walk, go to the mall, go to Das Marinas, go to the Tracy Materas mall. Then you can go to the gym. Um, there's stuff you can do. There's, 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 there's small resorts in the towns around here where if you want to go rent the pool for a day or you want to go to use their pool for a day, you can pay per use fees, things like that. Um, don't worry about it. You can go, like I said, you, you got Tanza Oasis here. You can go there. You can actually use the pool during the day. You just pay a price to go in and use the pool and you can stay out there by the pool all day and just chill and relax and enjoy yourself. But anyway, guys, I want to let you guys know that you can live cheap here. But remember, don't endanger yourself, okay? I just want you guys to know the costs here, but you don't want the cost to be that you're, you're stuck here or you're stuck in an emergency or something because you, you didn't plan correctly. You wanna make sure that you plan correctly all the time. All the time, guys, be safe, okay? That's the key. Budgets are, built, are made to keep you safe. You need a, a safe budget. That's why I say the two to 3,000, $1,500 is a lot more safer than, than 1,000 or less. I don't recommend anybody going below like 1,500. I really, really don't. I, and I'm gonna say that again. I do not believe that anybody should live on, on anything less than 1,500. It just don't. I mean, unless you're very frugal, 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 then maybe you could do it. But I like to see people saving money and putting a little bit of money aside for that rainy day when something happens or something and you need to go to the doctor because doctor's bills can be expensive over here. They want to take a um, biopsy off my leg. Okay, just to give you guys a rough idea. I thought it was going to be like $100 for the surgeon to cut out a one centimeter by one centimeter by a half a centimeter deep biopsy. Okay, I thought it was going to be like about 100 bucks or less. They want $300. That's expensive for a small biopsy. Plus I had to send it, I, they want me to send it out in formaldehyde, um, bring it up to the doctor myself, hand deliver it. He's gonna take a look at it. He's probably gonna charge me $100, $200 or whatever to take a look at it. And usually doctors here are fairly cheap. Regular doctors are cheap, but surgeons and specialists can charge you a lot for some of their stuff. And it can get expensive. So you gotta be careful guys, because you have to plan on those things too, because you never ever know what's gonna to happen to you as you age. And I'm worried about people coming over here thinking, well, look at me, I'm super strong. I don't have diabetes. I don't have high cholesterol. I don't have high blood pressure. Trust me, guys, it comes. It comes upon you. It just, it just hits you. My blood pressure since I've gotten here, it's gone up a little bit, you know? And, and it's part of aging. My sugar, um, I'm not diabetic, but I'm like, kind of like on the cusp of pre-diabetic and not being di diabetic. I'm right in that range there, you know, so I gotta be careful. So that's why I like to walk and go out and get, get out and do things. But anyway, guys, God bless, take care.